In this video, we'll demo how Sky instructors use the Lessons tool to put course content in Sky. Here's an example of how one humanities instructor organized their online course. On the main page of Lessons, the instructor provides links to weekly subpages. Within the weekly subpage, the instructor provides a very streamlined student experience. The students see a heading, they see activity due dates and times, and instructions. Then the instructor provides a link to the students for activities, a weekly overview, an assignment, a quiz, and finally a discussion. When students are done, they can return to the lessons main menu by clicking on the lessons link. Now that you've seen an example, let's get started. You'll need to add the lessons tool using site info. Within site info, click on Manage Tools. Click beside Lessons and click on Continue. Click Continue and finally click on Finish. After you've added the Lessons tool on the course menu, click on the Lessons button. The Lessons help information will be displayed, but don't worry. Whenever you add the Lessons tool or add a blank page, you'll see the help information. As soon as you add content, the help information will disappear. Now we can add our first weekly subpage. At the top, click on Add Content, where we'll work with these four links. Starting with Add Subpage. Type in your subpage title and click on the Create button. Again, you'll see the help information. As soon as you add content, the help information will disappear. Let's add a heading on our week one subpage. We'll click on Add Content again and then Add Text. In the text editor, type a heading, due dates, and orientation information. If we want, we can format text. After we formatted text, we'll click on the Save button. Now that we've added content, the help information is gone. We can see our text displayed along with an Edit button. We could click on the Edit button to make a change if needed. There's also a trash can we can use to delete the item and a plus sign to add an item above our item. Let's use Add Content and Add Content Links this time to add a web link. In the Item Name box, type a user-friendly title of the web link, such as Sakai Help for Students. Next, type or paste a web address in the URL box. Then click the Save button we can see the web address displayed. Optionally, you can click on the Edit button to type more info or instructions in the item description box too. When done, click on Update Item. When you or your students click on a web link in Sakai, it will open in a new browser tab or window. To get back to Sakai, simply close the New Browser tab. Let's return to the main page of Lessons. At the top, click on the Lessons link. Let's add another weekly subpage so we can see what the course structure can look like. We'll click on Add Content again and Add Subpage. Type in our subpage title and click Create. Once again, you'll see the help information. Let's click on Create Content and Create, excuse me, Add Text. After we've added and formatted our heading, our due date, and our textbook information, let's click Save. Let's add a link to a file, our textbook PDF. We can click on Add Content again and click on Add Content Links once again. Like we did previously in the item name, Let's type in a descriptive title for our students. 
So this is chapter one, intro to computers. This time we'll click on the browse button. We'll select a file on our computer and we'll click open. Now we'll see the name of the file we just selected. We'll click save and we'll see our link to our file displayed. Let's return to the main page of lessons by clicking on the lessons link at the top. We can now see that we've, been, we've created two weekly subpages, one for week one and one for week two. What else could we add to our subpages in addition to text and a link to a website and a link to a file? In Add Content, we can also use Embed Content on Page to display images and videos, unlike Add Content Links, which creates links to files. To display a video, we can use the video's embed code. Go to YouTube, below your video, click on Share, then click on Embed. Copy the embed code, go back to Lessons, and paste the embed code in the URL or embed code box. Click on the Save button, you may have to click on it again, and you'll see the video displayed. What else could we add to our subpages? In our Intermediate Sakai course, we'll work with adding links to course activities you've created, such as assignments, tests or quizzes, and forums and topics. Finally, you can add the advanced lessons features, questions, comments, and student content, which are areas for students to create student projects using many of the very lessons tools we've used in this video. Thanks for listening and good luck with your lessons.